Hello, my name is Jacob Osmeyer, and this is my Don't Make Me Think presentation. Today, I will be discussing four websites and their usability. The first website I'll be discussing is zoomies.com. The second is urbanoutfitters.com. The third is revolveclothing.com. And the fourth is paxsun.com. These four websites are the same because they are all clothing websites, but some have easier usability than others. So let's get started with zoomies.com. As you can see, the layout is like most clothing store websites. They have all the brands right here. They have their big sale, all the different advertisements they want of all their different shoes, skate, accessories, and things like that. And then there's the women all the way down here. I don't know why they did it that way. But when you come down to the bottom, and I like how they do the, when you need help, you can just track your order, you can return or exchange it if you need to, customer service, and you can contact them and also find a store. I like this because it is simple with the way that they say everything. Because if you come and you want to know where your order is that you ordered, say, three or four days ago, you can come down and just click on track my order, and it'll take you right here where you have, well, you have your order number, and it, once you enter your order number, it'll come right up. Now, when you're shopping, it's nice for when you just click on what you want to shop for, and then they have all just everything on this sidebar that you would need, and then things to look at out here, and then their new arrivals, flannels, jackets, brands. So if you come onto this website and you're thinking, well, I'm a male, so I want to go to men's, and now what kind of things do I like to wear? Oh, I like to wear flannels. So I would click on flannels and I would get that, so it's very easy to navigate. Now we can move on to Urban Outfitters, which Urban Outfitters, there are a few things like Valentine's Day gifts, which is nice because they're catering to the holidays that are coming up. They separate it right here to shop men's and women's, apartments, music tech, everything. And, one, and they also do down at the bottom where your help tab, and you contact them, you need to return, ship, your payment issues, your order status, your help and info. Um, although, the only thing that I don't really see is if you need to exchange something, does that also under returns? Or, like payment, can you just order something and pay for it later? But it looks more like an, like this would be better under if they if they had a fax section like FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, I think that that would be a better way to do that. But when you come in, say you're a man and you want to look for things, you come in and you click on mail, you can look at all this stuff, and then they have up here. I personally don't like these drop-down tabs because they bug out sometimes. And sometimes say that I feel like also, coats could be another tab instead of jackets, because people think of jackets as more as, oh, sweatshirts and things like that, while coats are, in my opinion, a different thing. Now the, now the next website we'll be looking at is Revolve, which, see, this is how it opens as the normal page, so right on the women's. And then you come down here, the customer care, and it shows what they accept. You can sign up for theirs. They have the website, a bunch of connections that you can get to about them, the press, affiliates, and everything. And I like how they have an FAQ section like the first two didn't because you don't want to send an email for something that you could click on that is also right here, which is nice. And then with careers, I think that they because some people would not see this as a career, but more of just a like a beginning job if they want to work at one of the stores. And then if you want to come in here and look at clothes, they I think that they should have just put men and women's on here instead of up above. Because you might not know if you'll be able to click one of these two, which would probably confuse people like my my mother and people who don't use a computer as much as I do. And once again, the drop-down tabs, which 
I feel like they did theirs better because of the because they just kept all clothing under one, shoes under one, bags under one. Now the last website we'll be looking at is PacSun.com, which I feel like they don't need this right here because some people might want to click on this and get sent just straight to the, all the men's things like they would do right there, which it can just confuse some people. And they decided to put their sales all the way down at the bottom, which um, they don't, it doesn't seem like they really have a help section to help people who might not be able to find something, which I don't understand too well, because, I mean, you can contact them, these are the things for you and everything, but it doesn't help much. Like, there's no frequently asked questions. Although, when you click on men's, they have a... I like how they do the sidebar, where you can shop color, exclusive size, price, special offers, brands, and accessories and clothing, which is really nice. But... On the usability, I would give out of these Zoomy. I would give a nine because it's it's pretty easy easy to navigate. But they could have done things better. Urban Outfitters also had a nine out of this is on a scale out of ten. Um, they were about like Zoomies were. They weren't very hard to navigate, which was nice. Revolve Clothing, that one got an eight for me, just because of how I couldn't tell if I could click on some things, which would confuse a lot of other people. And then PacSun, in my opinion, got a 7, because they just, they need to work on their positioning of some things, and then, um, like having a help section instead of a just for you section, because some people might not think that. Thank you. I, that was my present, that was my don't make me think presentation.